Freeform planning enables you to deploy an application with no dimension requirements. The Open Dimensional solution allows you to create an application with a cube that follows a dimension combination required by your organization. Service administrators can create freeform planning applications by importing an SBase outline file or migration snapshot of a single SBase cube from an on premises deployment release 11.1.2.400. Creating a BSO hybrid cube in the application wizard. Creating a reporting or ASO cube in the application wizard. You can model and build your own hybrid BSO or ASO cubes while preserving the ability to leverage planning functionalities. I'll go through the process of importing an SBase outline file and an SBase migration snapshot of a single SBase cube from an on premises deployment. Freeform planning is available in EPM Enterprise Cloud Service. An EPM Cloud Service instance allows you to deploy one freeform planning application. To deploy another freeform application, you must request another EPM Cloud Service instance or remove the current application. From the EPM Enterprise Cloud Service landing page, select Planning. The planning landing page displays your business process options. I'll create a freeform planning application using an SBase outline file. Because the OTL file name is assigned to the cube created for the freeform planning application, the file name must have 8 characters or less. For a complete list of import considerations when importing an SBase outline file, see the Getting Started with Oracle Enterprise Performance Management Cloud for Administrators documentation. Review your selections. If necessary, return to the previous page to make changes. When ready to proceed, click Create. You can view process details of the Freeform application import in the Job Console. Here's an example. Dimension and member information is included on the Details page of the Process Outline job. I'll go to the Application Console to take a look at the Application Definition, Cubes and Dimensions. Here are the planning properties and statistics such as the number of tasks, forms, and rules. Here's the cube I imported and the number of dimensions in the cube. Let's take a quick look at the cube details. Here's the cube name, cube type, dimensions, and the number of members in the cube. Here are the dimensions and members included in the outline file I imported. Learn how to add dimensions and members by following the steps in the Managing Dimensions in Planning hands-on tutorial. Like a custom or module-based planning business process, you can load data and create artifacts to help you analyze and work on your plans. Next, I'll create a freeform planning application using a snapshot of a single SBase cube. Migrating a supported snapshot simplifies and automates the process of loading dimensions, creating substitution variables, loading calculation scripts, and loading data. Do not attempt to create a freeform planning application by migrating SBase lifecycle management snapshots into an EPM cloud environment. Migration is supported only for snapshots created from a previous freeform planning application. Review your selections and make modifications in the previous page if necessary. Then, proceed with creating the application. Now, let's take a look at the imported snapshot in the application console. I imported the basic cube, which includes five dimensions. Add, edit, or delete dimensions and members here. You can start adding artifacts and load data into planning. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com.